Today, we're decoding the mysteries behind Midjourney version 5. As of this recording, 5.1 is the Midjourney default, but you've got some options. Let's break down what sets version 5 and version 5.1 apart, and other nifty stuff that you can play around with, like the fresh new style raw parameter and the various twists of version 5. So Midjourney version 5 made its debut back in March 2023 and became the go-to version in April. A lot changed between version 4 and version 5. Midjourney shifted gears from the default art style to something more photographic. Hello, realism. Plus, version 5 was less opinionated, meaning less Midjourney flair in general. Version 5 pushed detail and realism into overdrive, but let's be honest, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park to use. In my video, Unlock the Power of Midjourney Version 5, a prompting guide, we dove headfirst into making the most of this beast, highlighting its strengths and navigating the tricky bits. But for all its stunning realism, Version 5 kind of lost that artistic edge that we've come to adore in Midjourney. Many creators love this new realistic feel and leveraged it to create complex prompts but others found it challenging and missed the easygoing artistry of version 4. That's where version 5 comes in. The team at Midjourney made a compromise. They kept version 5, but introduced a more opinionated version 5.1. More opinionated means that Midjourney stamps its style on your prompt. Midjourney version 5 tends to give you exactly what you ask for, but if you're writing a simple prompt without much instruction, version 5 kind of punts and gives you something hmm, sort of meh. Version 5.1 is more like version 4. It fills in the details and delivers a stunning image, even if you're not too specific. For those of you struggling to create beautiful images with basic prompts, meet your new bestie, version 5.1. Midjourney started testing version 5.1 in May 2023, and at some point it took over the default spot. Let's dive deeper in and compare version 5 with version 5.1. We'll cover how to get started with this new version and how to switch back and forth between versions. To check your current version, type slash settings into the message bar. You'll see the different Midjourney versions plus a button for version 5.1. Just select your favorite version in the settings panel or in your prompt, type the version as a parameter after your prompt. Dash dash V space five or dash dash V space five dot one. Let's do some head-to-head -head comparisons of version 5 and 5.1 and see what happens. Version 5.1 is a dream for beginners. Prompt a few words like beginning artist and you'll quickly see the difference between the versions. It's like night and day. Version 5.1 has an artistic touch like version 4. The images are incredibly accurate and detailed compared to version 4, but they've got the artistic flair that version 5 lacks. Version 5 leans more towards photorealism, but with basic prompts, the images aren't exactly eye candy. And what's the deal with all this extra text? Here's another example. If you prompt Galaxy, version 5 gets all confused. It can't tell if you're asking for a solar system or a phone, so it just throws both at you. But version 5.1 isn't phased one bit. It assumes you're after something artistically beautiful. Toss a random prompt into the mix and version 5.1 will hand you something stunning. Version 5, on the other hand, gives you, well, buggy bread. Version 5 needs you to be more hands-on with your prompting. With version 5.1, style words are nice to have, but Midjourney will fill in the gaps. But if you start getting specific in your prompts, giving Midjourney more direction on what you want your image to look like, the versions start to converge. For example, if I simply prompt Brooklyn Bridge, there's a huge difference in results between versions. But if I add details like lighting, artists' names, and other visual cues, the results start looking pretty similar. So version 5.1 is a solid default. It's got your back either way. But if you're a fan of version 5.1, who misses the realism of version 5, there's a third way, style raw. Style raw, or raw mode, only works with version 5.1. It's a kind of middle ground between version 5.1 and version 5. But raw mode is kind of on a slider. Sometimes it leads more towards version 5, and other times leans more towards version 5.1.
it sort of depends on your prompt. With detailed prompts, you might not spot a difference. Style Raw and version 5.1 may give you very similar images, but with very basic prompts, Raw mode tends to swing towards version 5. To use Style Raw type dash dash style space raw after your prompt, or choose Raw mode in the settings panel. Notice it only pops up when you select version 5.1. If you're starting to feel a bit dizzy with all this info, here's a quick recap. You can set version 5 or version 5.1 as your default, or you can switch things up by typing dash dash v space 5 or dash dash v space 5.1 after your prompt. And remember you've got a third option, version 5.1 plus style raw. But wait, there's more. Say hello to version 5a and version 5b. Version 5 has gone through a few changes since its launch. The version 5 we've been looking at in this video is technically version 5b. If you simply type dash dash v space 5, you're really asking for version 5b. If you want to try out version 5 as it was when it first dropped, go for dash dash v space 5a. Version 5B is basically a beefed up version of the original model. It's a bit more stable with more detail and doesn't usually throw in as much text. Version 5B is better than version 5A, but the versions are different. If you're not getting the vibe you want, try version 5A. We've been all about mid-journey style this whole video, and we've also touched on the dash dash style raw parameter. But what about the stylize parameter? Is it still a thing in version 5? Stylize is all about how much mid-journey flair you want in your image. Stylize is on a scale from 0 to 1000, with 0 meaning no mid-journey flair, and 1000 turning the style dial all the way up. The stylize parameter works in both version 5 and version 5.1. It changes the results to a degree, but not as much as changing the version. Stylize 1000 in version 5 may give you a little more visual interest. Stylize seems to have a bigger impact on version 5.1. It adds a lot more detail. If you want to keep your images simple, set Stylize to zero. If you're after a more complex image, crank it all the way up to 1000. Let's wrap up with one more feature that slipped in with version 5.1. When you upscale an image created with version 5 or Niji, you'll see a remaster button. This isn't like the remaster buttons of the past. Remaster upscales your image into 5.1 automatically. I say upscale, but it's not actually an upscaler. It won't make your image bigger, but it does rerun the image in version 5.1. So to sum it all up, version 5 tends to be more photographic, while version 5.1 has more of an artistic vibe. Version 5 tends to be more literal overall, while Midjourney 5.1 fills in the artistic details for simple prompts. These differences aren't cut and dried. Results you get change depending on your prompt. If you include lots of visual detail in your prompt, you might not see much difference between version 5 and version 5.1. Whether you prefer the literalness of version 5, the detail-filled nature of version 5.1, or the in-between world of style raw, there's something here for everyone. And remember, there's no right or wrong. It's all about creating something you love. Let us know what you like about version 5 or version 5.1 in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.